Hello everyone, I'm happy to see you here once again. This, the educational series, has provided an informative and useful video about pet insurance. Here, we will try to cover all about pet insurance including what exactly is pet insurance, what is the process of pet insurance, how much does pet insurance cost, what factors have an impact on the cost of pet insurance, whether or not pet insurance is worth the money, is pet insurance only for cats and dogs, what does pet insurance cover and what is excluded from pet insurance policies and much more. For your kind information this series has been made only for educational purpose. For any doubt, you can use the comment section. We will try our best. Let's get right to the topic without wasting any time. What exactly is pet insurance? In the event that your pet is ill or injured, pet insurance helps to cover the costs of veterinary care. It's not uncommon for pet insurance companies to pay out in the event of your pet's death, disappearance, harm to another person, and property damage. Numerous pet insurance policies have been examined, and thousands of policyholders have given their opinions on the customer service provided by the major pet insurers. What is the process of pet insurance? Insurance policies for pets are available in two varieties insurance policies, as well as discounts and rebates. Reimbursement is the primary mode of payment for most pet insurance policies, which necessitates an upfront payment to the veterinarian. Your deductible, percentage of reimbursement, and annual coverage maximum will determine how much you get reimbursed. You may receive a check in the mail or a direct deposit into your bank account for reimbursements. If your veterinarian accepts payment plans, some reimbursement policies will pay your vet directly. It's important to keep in mind that many policies have an annual coverage cap, after which you won't be reimbursed for vet expenses anymore. If you have pet insurance and a discount program, you can save money on your vet bill. As long as your veterinarian participates in a discount program, you can save money. How much does pet insurance cost? Pet insurance for a dog can cost anywhere from $9 to $72 a month, depending on the company, while pet insurance for a cat can cost anywhere from $6 to $31. Many factors influence the cost of pet insurance, including your pet's age, breed and location as well as its health, the insurance provider, the type of coverage, the deductible and the reimbursement amount. What factors have an impact on the cost of pet insurance? Your pet, the level of coverage you choose, and where you live all factor into the average cost of pet insurance. Insurers will also take into account. Species. Dogs are more expensive to insure than cats, and male animals are more expensive to insure than female pets. Breed. Due to their shorter lifespans and greater health issues, larger pets are typically more expensive to insure. Age. Insurance premiums for younger pets are lower, as most of their health issues are resolved by the time they reach adulthood. Location. The cost of insurance varies from state to state and zip code to zip code, with denser populations paying more. Whether or not pet insurance is worth the money is an important question. Insuring your pet is a good idea if you take him to the vet a lot. However, if you only take your pet to the vet for routine checkups, insurance may not be worth the cost. Pet insurance and veterinary care can get more expensive as your pet gets older. Before deciding if pet insurance is right for you, you should take into account your pet's health and anticipated vet costs. Is pet insurance only for cats and dogs? Cats and dogs are the most common pets covered by pet insurance, but some companies also offer coverage for other kinds of animals. Birds and exotic pets can be insured by companies like Pet Assure and Nationwide Insurance. What does pet insurance cover? Vet fees and some medical expenses are covered by pet insurance. The following is typically included in most pet insurance policies. Accidental or medical causes of death. 
pet insurance will reimburse you for the cost of the animal's purchase or its market value if it dies, whichever is greater. Insurance companies often refuse to pay out claims after a certain age, usually between 8 and 11 years for cats and 5 to 9 years for dogs. Missing Pet Cover the majority of pet insurance policies cover the costs of posting flyers and offering a reward in the event that your pet is lost or stolen. Third-party liability. You should be covered if your dog injures or damages someone else's property if you have a pet insurance policy. This takes care of the claimants and the attorney's fees. Coverage for overseas travel. Most pet insurance policies will cover you if your pet gets sick gets into an accident, or needs veterinary care while you're away from your home country. When a pet is ill and you have to cancel a vacation, many insurance companies will pay for the cost of lodging and travel if you're forced to do so. Kennel and Cattery Fees If you are unable to care for your pet while you are in the hospital, most pet insurance providers will cover the cost of boarding your pet in a kennel or cattery. In most cases, you'll need to stay in the hospital for a minimum of two to four days. Euthanasia, cremation and burial. It's possible that your insurance policy will cover the costs of your pet's final resting place, cremation, or burial. Coverage for teeth. If your pet needs dental work, most pet insurance policies will pay for it. Some insurance policies only cover dental treatment resulting from an accident and do not cover dental costs incurred as a result of a medical condition. Those that do usually require your pet to have a dental checkup once a year as a condition of the policy. What is excluded from pet insurance policies? Exclusions in pet insurance policies include the following. Make sure you understand all of the terms and conditions of your policy before signing up for it. A pre-existing medical condition. Your pet's pre-existing medical condition is one that existed prior to the time you signed up for pet insurance. They can be divided into two groups. A long-term condition. Your pet's current health issues, such as a heart condition or hip dysplasia, will be covered by your policy historic conditions. For example, healed tissue injuries and illnesses are examples of illnesses and diseases from which your pet is now free of symptoms. Although some pre-existing conditions may be covered if your pet hasn't needed treatment for a certain period of time, most insurance providers exclude these from any new coverage. Waiting period. In most cases, pet insurance policies do not cover illnesses that appear within the first 10 to 14 days of coverage. If you're switching from another insurer, some will waive this fee so you won't have a gap in your coverage. Regular and preventative treatment. Insurance policies often exclude routine care such as vaccinations, spaying and neutering, flea and worm treatments, nail clipping, and teeth maintenance. Pregnancy and giving birth. There may be exclusions in pet insurance policies for expenses related to pregnancy, birth, and the care of any offspring. Finally, in this whole series, we discussed about pet insurance including what exactly is pet insurance, what is the process of pet insurance, how much does pet insurance cost, what factors have an impact on the cost of pet insurance, whether or not pet insurance is worth the money, is pet insurance only for cats and dogs? What does pet insurance cover and what is excluded from pet insurance policies and much more? Hope you understand and found this series more informative and useful. Thanks for joining us, hope you have a beautiful day.